The pedestrian and vehicle congestion around South by Southwest is an excellent example of how unprepared today's cities are for the growth the experts are predicting over the next few decades. Luckily, the speakers and attendees here have a whole lot of ideas for how to fix that. According to the United Nations, the world's population is set to increase from about 7.3 billion people today to 9.7 billion in 2050. The proportion of humans who live in urban areas is expected to jump from 54% to 66%. Many of today's cities are not prepared to handle today's crowds, let alone that kind of increase. It's evident everywhere here at South by Southwest in Austin, Texas, from sidewalk and cyclist traffic to the solid red line that represents the highway on map apps, which locals tell me has been red since map apps have existed. But you can see plenty of solutions in play here too. Beyond bicycle rickshaws, there are shared cars available from a few different corporate sponsors for in-town trips, and Lyft and Uber both have huge presences at the festival. Of course, cities will need to take more drastic measures than that in the future. Jonathan already covered the potential held by autonomous cars and switching car ownership from private to public. Other discussions are moving in basically two different directions here. On side A, there are concepts meant to modernize existing infrastructures like roads and mass transit. In these, big data and the internet of things aren't just buzzwords, they're the solvent that will break down today's traffic woes. The the Secretary of the U.S. Department of Transportation is here, with finalists competing in the Smart City Challenge, in which the government plans to award up to $40 million for clean, efficient, data-driven ideas for how we'll get around in the future. Other panels are talking about how to make not just our cars and mobile devices smart, but our roads, buildings, and traffic signs, too. On side B, there are concepts to build alongside and above and below what we've already got. Some entrepreneurs are talking about bringing Elon Musk's Hyperloop into reality. There's a project trying to make aerial cable cars the future of commuting in New York City. And one group is studying whether small, high-speed pods running on raised electric rails could work right here in Austin. Which of these solutions captures your imagination? And which do you think are the most practical for your local urban environment? Get in touch and let us know. And for lots more about the increasingly incredible future, check in with now.howstuffworks.com every day.